in this first lesson we're going to go ahead and set our initial light source which is going to be our fry render sun so that we can light our interior primarily with our sun and then we'll just go ahead and set some interior or I'm sorry some light emitting planes so that we can use that to control the secondary lighting of our scene first thing we want to do is we want to go over here and to our fry render shelf and click our fry render sun and as you can see we get the fry render sun shape node and then we're going to just go over and configure our sun so just click our render globals choose our fry render layer settings open our environment settings click configure atmosphere now as you can see here our image is black and even if we move this our image isn't updating so what we need to do is we need to come down here to position and uncheck this and now whenever we go to move this we can see that our sun is actually going to move with our location or our longitude and latitude longitude and latitude indicator here so let's go ahead and let's just set this say uh, that should be that should be fine with me here then you can set the time of day of what time that you actually want your sun to be or what time you want your render to be so say like if you wanted it at like two o'clock in the afternoon noon you know dusk whatever you can go ahead and set that um, I'm just gonna leave the light mixer here to fader number zero so that we can use that to control the intensity of our sun independently of what we'll go ahead and set up our light planes as let's go ahead and change our exposure here to say like 200 and that and that should be fine well 202 should be fine um, we're not going to change any of these gas configuration tabs and then just click OK click accept click close and as you can see the sun actually has moved but now we're just going to go ahead and move this back to say the side here so that it actually is going to come in through the window moving this isn't like you know moving the fry run or um, I'm sorry the mental ray sun and sky where if you move it it'll actually change the time of day to to be that time of day so if we just leave it like the like it is here and since we have moved it it's not going to change any of the settings in our render settings now with our sun pretty much set up and coming in through the window let's just move it over just a little bit more that's fine we can go ahead and call that good for a lesson for this lesson and then in the next lesson we'll go ahead and set up our light emitting planes so that we can have some secondary light sources for our scene